Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. For many built-in microwave oven repairs, you will need to disassemble the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to shut off the power supply to the oven junction box. To remove the oven door, open the door and use a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill out the rivet, securing the siding arm to the door. Insert a paper clip through the hole in the siding arm to prevent it from sliding back through the frame. Now insert a flathead screwdriver into each door hinge to hold the hinges in place. Use a T20 Torx bit to unthread the two screws, securing the door to the hinges. You can now slide the door off of the hinges. To separate the inner door panel from the outer panel, set the door on a sturdy surface with the handle side down. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help remove the two screw hole plugs. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws, securing the inner door panel to the outer door assembly. Lift off the inner panel. You can now detach the door handle by unthreading the screws securing the handle. Replace or reinstall the handle by aligning it on the outer door panel, then thread the screws to secure. Reassemble the door by realigning the inner door panel on the outer door assembly. Slide it up and thread the screws to secure. Snap in the screw hole plugs. Reinstall the door by sliding it onto the hinges. Thread and tighten the screws to secure. Remove the screwdrivers, as well as the paper clip from the sliding arm. Align the sliding arm with the door anchor. If necessary, punch out the old rivet from the bushing. Insert the bushing into the arm and secure with a new rivet. To remove the control panel, you will need to pull the microwave oven away from the cabinet. Before you do this, we recommend removing any racks from the oven, along with the turntable and support. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws, securing the mounting flanges to the cabinet. Remove the washers as well if still intact. Pull the appliance forward approximately 4 inches. You can now unthread the four screws, securing the control panel assembly. Lift the control panel assembly up to detach. Disconnect the communication wire as well as the grounding wire to fully remove the assembly. 
If you need to replace the vent damper actuator, you can now rotate the actuator clockwise to detach it from the vent housing and disconnect the wire connector. Install the new vent damper actuator by connecting the wire connector, then align the actuator on the vent housing and rotate counterclockwise to lock it into place. Reinstall the control panel assembly by first connecting the communication wire to the user interface board and the grounding wire to the grounding tab. Align the panel assembly on the flanges. Then thread and tighten the four screws to secure. To access components under the top panel or on the rear of the oven, you will need to fully remove the appliance from the cabinet. Have an assistant help you to pull the microwave oven out of the cabinet and set it on a sturdy surface. Be aware that if the conduit cable is not long enough to move the microwave oven, you will need to disconnect the power and grounding wires and remove the conduit cable from the junction box. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or a quarter inch nut driver to unthread the four screws securing the top access panel. Lift the panel up then slide forward to remove to access components like the cooling fan assembly and control boards. To reach the door switch assemblies, unthread all of the screws, securing either the left or right side panel. Detach the panel. If you need to replace a switch, pull the retaining tabs back to release the switch from the holder. Note the location of the wires, then disconnect them. Install the new door switch by first connecting the wires to the appropriate terminals. Align the switch on the mounting pins and push the actuator in to fully seat the switch in the holder. Make sure the door switch wires are secured in the notch. With the repair complete, realign the side panel and replace the screws. Replace the top access panel by inserting the rear edge first. Replace the screws to secure. To access components at the rear of the oven, use a T10 Torx bit to unthread the two screws securing the rear cover. Detach the cover to reach the broil element, convection thermostat, and the temperature sensor. To reach the convection fan motor, use a T20 Torx bit to unthread the six screws securing the convection housing. Support the housing as you detach the temperature sensor bracket. You can remove the convection fan blade by using a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to rotate the fan blade mounting nut clockwise. Fully unthread the nut and remove the blade. If you need to replace the fan motor itself, slide the washer off of the motor shaft. Now disconnect the fan motor wires and rotate the motor counterclockwise to detach it from the housing. 
Install a new convection fan motor by inserting the mounting tabs in the housing notches, then rotate the motor clockwise to lock it into place. Confirm that the motor terminals are facing straight up and connect the wires to the terminals. Slide the washer onto the motor shaft. Align the fan blade on the shaft. Then thread the mounting nut counterclockwise and tighten. Reposition the housing on the rear of the oven and replace the temperature sensor bracket. Thread and tighten the six screws to secure the housing. Continue the reassembly by aligning the rear cover on the tabs, then fully position the cover and secure it with the screws. Return the microwave oven to the cabinet and push it into position. Insert the washers into the holes in the flanges, then thread the two screws to secure the flanges to the cabinet. Replace the support and align the turntable on the coupling. With the appliance fully reinstalled, turn the power supply back on and the microwave oven should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.